hey guys in this video I'm going to be making a standard solution taking you through all the stages and the bits you need to be aware of the bits we need to be careful about now I got the chance to go and do this at the STEM Outreach Centre at the University of Kingston and if you want more details about how schools can visit it then they're in the description down below Here we are going to be making a standard solution. So we have our measured known volume here, flask, beaker, water, and a volumetric. We are going to take our known volume of powder and put it into our beaker with some water. Now what I'm going to do is wash the um, weigh boats. to make sure that all of the powder from the weigh boat is in the beaker. So that is the key thing that we need to do, make sure all of the powder that we measured in the weigh boat ends up in the volumetric flask. At the moment, we're not too worried about the volume of water because we will deal with that later. To make sure everything is in there. Giving this a good squirt, we don't have to be too careful of volume at the moment because this is a 500 um, volumetric and we can see that we've got less than 50 mils of water in there. Give this while to dissolve it a bit, then we're going to start transferring it to the volumetric. Again, the key thing we need to focus on is getting all of the powder that is in here, all of the powder that we laid out into the volumetric flask. So I'm going to pour it in through the filter funnel. Then I'm going to put more water into the beaker, rinsing around the sides of the beaker. Giving a swirl, transferring it in there, and just doing this again. Doing this a few times. until I'm sure that all of the powder that we read out in the weigh boat is in the volumetric. I would say this needs to be done a minimum of three times, but we do need to get from about 50 to 100 mils of, the, um, of water in the volumetric all the way up to 500. So we do not need to Skimp on the number of times we do this. The most important thing is getting all of the powder in here. Once we've done that, we then need to do the same to the filter funnel. So rinsing the filter funnel. To make sure that any residue that was in the filter funnel ends up in here. We now need this to dissolve. So we can put more water in. Just going around the neck of the volumetric to make sure any powder that is on the side there uh, isn't missed. What you can do at this point is to put the lid on and if you think it needs a bit more mixing then we can invert it again what you need to do at that point is then clear any liquid that's on the neck Once the main body of the bottle is full, this bit will start filling up much quicker. So this is the point you need to start slowing down. What you need to remember is when you're putting liquid in here and you're measuring here, if you stop putting liquid in when it gets to the point, all the liquid that's on the way down hasn't been counted. 
So at this point, you really need to stop slowly because it is at exactly this mark here that we get to 500 mils. We do not want to go over this mark. At this point, you can start to use something like a plastic pipette, or this is called a pasta pipette, to go drop by drop. You need the bottom of the meniscus to be on the line. If you go over the line, you cannot then take liquid out to get it back to the right point because the liquid you've removed will have some of your compounds in it and then it will be at the wrong concentration. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches. <laughs>